When a wanted poster began circulating for information on the whereabouts of 32-year-old Michael Main, it came as a complete surprise to him. At least, that's what he told News 5 this morning, before being handed over to police by attorney Norman Rodriguez. For several days, the employee of the National Sports Council said that he had been trying to reach the officer who requested that he turn himself in for questioning. Main is a person of interest in the murder of Darian Banks, a former gang leader from Lake Independence. The shooting that were happened Monday, Monday evening, according to the police there, there's a, there's a National Sports Council truck in at the area when the shooting happened. So then gone that the work compound, I left a message with my supervisor for my guy, giving myself or I wanted for questioning, they want to see me for questioning. So therefore the next day, me and my lawyer, we tried to contact the police there. We made countless amount of efforts to try to get in contact with the police there, because I'm not a hide nor I'm not a run for nobody. You understand? I, you know, I don't do nothing. I have no problem with nobody. On the evening of July 25th, Banks was walking along Ebony Street when he was assaulted by a lone gunman who opened fire on him and left him for dead inside a nearby drain. The gangland execution is believed to have been reprisal for a shooting on Lacroix Boulevard the night before that left three persons injured. Police investigations ultimately pointed to mean. This um, state of emergency occurred and the police they were put up a wanted poster with me for um, crime stoppers and give what wrong address for me and then that 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 wrong. I feel like that wrong because that, that crazy because I only say that like at the part of the BLC or the PIV gang because according to Mr. Chester, the state of emergency that me for the BLC and the PIV gang. So how comes I come up my crime stoppers wanted with a address where I never had lived ever before in my life. I have no connection in that era. After making contact with his lawyer and having seen the all points bulletin issued for his arrest over the weekend, Main decided to come forward with his story. Norman Rodriguez says that he too made numerous attempts to get a hold of the investigating officer to no avail. We know that he's wanted. He has a duty to hand himself in. So he retained me and that was from Wednesday morning. I was in Corridor at the time, so as soon as I got into Belize City in the afternoon, I made a call to the Queen Street Police Station to find out if it was true. I was told it is true and that he was wanted by a sergeant at the CIB at this precinct, precinct 2, I believe. So I made calls then. I made multiple calls then, and I made multiple calls on Thursday and Friday morning, and I left messages. In bringing in his client, Rodriguez anticipates that a series of action will take place, including an interrogation process. They will detain him at least for a period. They will attempt to do the interview with him. That's what they always do. Even if you say no, sometimes some officers still go ahead and try to do it. But he has taken my advice and he has instructed me. So I put that in the form of a letter which I will present to them as to what must and must not be done. There are two likely outcomes for Maine at this juncture. He can be held in police custody and subsequently be charged for last Monday's brazen killing and attempted murder. He can also be questioned and released. The latter, however, can place a target on his back. If you're released, if you're not charged and you're released, there's also the likelihood that you may become a target now that you have been named in either of the two incidents. And this is what I say. So um, before the police they me put out a wanted poster, I mean, I got a whole of beliefs, feel like I'm involved in a son and a murder. I'm not sure I'm doing a proper investigation. And me and my lawyer try to get to one. So I don't want it. I don't run for nobody. No, I'm not put up that. No, my whole life changed. I can't go back. I can't even, even I can't go back to do a regular job. I had a messenger. I get shot the other day. I guess that they had a day to um, transport um, things for the National Sports Council, you know? And I'm honest, and I'm honest, I'm not hurt nobody, I'm not doing and I guess that they work. Now imagine with my name out there. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Kayetano.